okay so now let us see other other concepts relating to the taxation of salaries the first one is surrender of salary so what happens is suppose i earn certain income as salary however if i surrender this income to the central government and i am reading on the right side of column 1 or row 1 to the central government under voluntary surrender of salaries exemption of taxation 1961 will be excluded from the salary of private stroke public sector stroke government employee so it's not any and every surrender of salary which is exempt from taxation it is only if you surrender your salary to the central government under voluntary surrender of salaries exemption of taxation act 1961 so that it is excluded from the salary of private stroke public sector stroke government employees the next one is tax free salary so what may happen is that in many cases and particularly in case of certain foreign expats expatriates rather foreign people who come and work into india the contract for employment normally states that the salary which this person will be receiving will be say 500000 dollars a year my seem an astronomical number right now to you guys but uh, that's something very common so what the employer says is i will pay you 500000 dollars a year whatever is the tax i will take care of that but the net amount which is credited to your bank account will be 500000 dollars suppose in this case the employer pays another 150000 dollars as tax so now when i compute the salary income of the employee what will be the taxable income under the income tax act it is very specific that in case you give a tax free salary to an employee then the tax paid by the employer also needs to be included in the total income of the employee so in this case the total income of the employee will be $650000 and the employee is under an obligation to pay taxes on that so normally the computations are worked in such a manner that tax goes to the account of the employer employee gets the net number and whatever is the total tax paid plus the salary received is included in the return of the expatriate next one is foregoing of salary now what do you mean by forego forego as in simple terms means that suppose i got something i had the right to get something but i gave away my right to receive it i have foregone my right you must have heard this term very oftenly so foregoing of salary means once the salary has accrued to a person he doesn't receives it he waives his right he says okay i don't want to receive it you please go and give this to xyz or abc trust or for that matter utilize it in any particular manner what does the law says please see the third row right hand side salary once earned is taxable in the hands of the employee even if he and it could be stroke she waives his right to receive as the waiver is treated as application of income so the law says once the salary has accrued has been earned by you then earned is basically a larger word rather than accrued once you have earned the salary it is taxable in your hands now whether you throw it in the dustbin you donate it to a trust it doesn't matter the law doesn't care it is accrued to you you have earned it you have to pay taxes what you do afterwards is an application of income so therefore you have to pay taxes even if you forego it at a later date now salary by foreign government enterprise suppose there is an expat as i said in the first one sorry not first one the second one salary paid by the foreign government or an enterprise to a person who is rendering services in india now suppose you have microsoft corporation they sends a person they have a person who's kind of 
working in India for Microsoft US. Not for Microsoft India, for Microsoft US. Of course, there are a lot many things that one needs to look at in terms of taxation for Microsoft US, but that's beyond the point right now. The limited issue is if the employee of Microsoft US works in India, and it could be any other company. I mean, Microsoft is such a renowned name that it just came off to my mind. If he's servicing in India, he's rendering the services in India, then whatever salary Microsoft gives to him in respect of those services will be specifically taxed in India. And enterprise or the government, maybe the US government sends some people in India to do some work. So whatever salary the US government pays to them, that is normally taxable in India. However, Having said this, there are certain categories of salaries which are paid by foreign governments to Indian people or rather to their employees in India which are specifically exempted under section 10. And what these are, we are going to see it at a later stage. But if that be the case, these salaries are exempt from taxation. So these are the four points which one needs to know. There is another thing relating to accrual of salary but that I am going to take after I complete the chapter because then you will be able to better correlate it.